Hey everybody, it's Monkey Farm. I am back with an updated version of my friendly mob breeding machine, I guess if that's what you call it. Uh, this video will obviously not be as romantic as the uh, the Love Shack uh, pig breeding video I did uh, a day or so ago. But um, what I've added to this one is mob selection. So we can choose whatever animal we want to show up and breed and uh, so obviously, you know, pigs and cows will probably be the most common, uh, and then sheep. I haven't decided, uh, I don't know if I'm going to add mushrooms to it or not. Um, I don't know when you kill them, if you get mushrooms, or you have to shear the mushrooms off first. I, I, uh, I haven't found a mushroom biome yet, so I don't really know. But anyway, um, so the way it works is we have a few different tracks coming in with different animals. Uh, from each side so we have the pig and cows side and then we have the sheep side and so we are, we're set to the pigs and cows and we're set on pigs so why don't we call some pigs in real quick and I'll show you and we will breed them real quick we're giving them a little privacy with these blocks here so and there is our pig and what we will do is send the parents back to where they belong spinning around in circles doing nothing <laughs> anyway um, so basically I don't know if you saw the video from uh, survive in Minecraft I believe is the exact uh, name that he uses um, I saw this first with him where uh, or at least when I when I did my first video um, the just the pig breeding one over there when you log out of the game and log back in the animals would pop out of the cart but they don't hop out of the cart if the cart is moving so that's why these animals are all spinning in a circle it's so that when we log out and we can log back in and they will still be stuck in the cart uh, that way you don't have to trick them back into the cart every time Ah, bye piggy Okay, so uh, then what happens is, um, okay, so why don't I show you the different tracks and how they work, basically. We have uh, a couple different, come on, fly mode. Okay, we have a couple different options here. Uh, basically, the, each side will be a mirror image. I haven't finished the sheep and blank side, which will be over here. Uh, so I have the pigs and cows and uh, both of those on each side. So basically we have a choice here of the the first switch that we need to set is the do we want the sheep or the pigs and cows side. So basically that that switch will switch this track right here. And if I flip it to the sheep side, it, this little track right here will flip to this track and allow the sheep to come in. The second switch we have is between the pigs or the cows. So right now it's set to pigs, obviously it's going towards the pig. If we flip the switch it will go over towards this cow. So those are the two choices on the switches that we have. And so right now it's set to pigs. I will flip it to cows. And then you have the button which will basically, the buttons will basically connect the loop to the track. Right now it's just spinning in a circle. Uh, what will happen when we flip that switch is it will connect to these tracks and the carts will uh, show up here. So why don't we call in the cows real quick and I'll walk you through a little bit more. We will push the cow button here and I will just leave this open so they will return. So the cows uh, were sent in, then they drop down and come back up here and then they drop back down onto the track. Now the reason I have this drop off here is that since we're dropping them off the the track is essentially broken right here you know we're dropping them down and we have to basically reconnect that cart so that they can go back to the original spot that they came from so the carts drop down here they loop back up in a circle and then they drop back onto the track now if this uh, so this is already set to where they came from so the pigs and the cows so when they drop onto this track they will just come back here and go back to where they belong now if we had the sheep coming in 
the track would be going the other direction and they would go back home there. So that's basically how it works. Uh, is there anything else? Um, I don't know. So basically uh, I'm going to be working on a kill mechanism, basically a way to to kill them. Uh, I've seen a couple different videos. Um, I think Doc, um, uh, Doc M and actually Surviving Minecraft also had uh, they had kind of like a tower I think where the animals would drop off and fall through lava and all of that so I may do something like that I haven't I haven't decided yet really so basically I just kind of pin them up right now and um, yeah that's how it's working so far so hopefully I will soon get my updated texture pack and make this look all pretty and then uh, what else I'll be adding the sheep and maybe the mushrooms on there as well so uh, we'll be finishing them up but uh, it works so we'll call in some pigs again oh by the way the reason I have this these blocks here whoops the reason I have these blocks here is because uh, creative mode for some reason it's really sensitive on teleporting uh, so it, it would put me into the cart a, a lot of the time even through glass um, and even sometimes when I push one of these buttons it'll teleport me way over there into a cart so it's just a creative mode bug I guess uh, so once I get this into a real survival world um, obviously um, it shouldn't be doing that um, did I call the pigs in? No, let's call the pigs in and here they come and there they go they drop off and go back to their home so anyways I hope you like everything so far uh, give the video a thumbs up if you did I would greatly appreciate it and uh, we'll talk to you guys later and uh, I should be having another LP come out in the next day or so so anyway stay tuned and subscribe if you uh, are not already subscribed to my channel so we'll talk to you guys later